Hey guys, um, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I am going to be talking to you about um, my 10 favorite drugstore beauty products. Um, I have not included anything that is cheap that you can find online. No Morphe, no Makeup Geek, no ColourPop. Um, strictly things that you can purchase at a drugstore, Target, CVS, Walgreens, Meyer, Walmart, things like that. So without birth further ado, let's go ahead and just jump on into this. Um, my very first product is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Um, this is a semi-new product. I have this in lots of colors. I've been using it since it first came out just because I was very interested to see what it was all about and if it was worth the hype and it is. I feel like it wears on the skin beautifully and um, it says on the back that it is tested um, under seven different lighting conditions with top smartphone models with and without the flash. So um, this was about five dollars so if you are interested um, in trying on a new foundation I definitely recommend this one. So that's number one. Um, number two beauty product kind of goes with the foundation. It is the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Concealer. I feel like for drugstore concealer, um, it definitely does the job. It wears great with the Photo Focus Foundation um, and it wears great without it. It is long wearing and as always, Wet n Wild is cruelty free, which I absolutely love. So um, that is product number two. Product number three is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. Um, this is a little bit on the pricier side for drugstore. I think it is about $12.99. But um, in my opinion, this is one of the best drugstore primers that you can possibly um, get. It makes my skin feel super soft and um, it's just flawless every single time. So, um... There's number three. Number four is the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Primer and Brightener. Um, I use this pretty much every single day. I've literally repurchased this like eight or nine times. Um, I feel like it makes my eyeshadow look beautiful every single time. Flawless, I use this on my clients as well. And um, it is about $10. Um, I actually purchased this at Meijer, but I know that um, CVS and Walgreens have it as well. All right, so the next item up here, which is the um, Rimmel London East End Snob Lip Liner Pencil. This is the lip liner that basically made me fall in love with lip liner pencils. Um, I actually have used this as just a lipstick, like just literally covered my entire lips with it. This pairs with all kinds of lipstick shades. It is so beautiful. I have been using this for several years and I am still using it. So, um, yeah, this is the Rimmel London East End Snob Lip Liner and it's about $5. All right, the next product that I still use every single day with um, a more expensive uh, dip brow is the Essence brand Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. Um, after I fill my brows in, I go over them with this and my brows look great every single time. I love this. Um, it has fibers in it, which I feel like just kind of helps my brows look thicker and fuller. And, um, yeah, I've repurchased this several times as well. Super great. And this stuff is $2.99. All right. The next product is the duo brand brush on adhesive with vitamins eyelash glue. Um, my container looks disgusting because I use it so much. Please forgive me for that. But, um, this is what I use to glue on my lashes. It glues them on flawlessly every single time. It never disappoints. It just always does exactly what I want it to do. Um, I did purchase this from Meyer, but I know that you can find it at a variety of different places, places, and, um, it's about six bucks. Okay. The next product is the Maybelline Master Graphic, um, eyeliner pencil. I feel like this if I do not have a lot of time to go through with my gel pod liner, I and like make a perfectly straight line 
on my um, lid, then I will just go in with this, which the end looks like this. It almost looks like a marker. And I will just go in and it makes a perfectly straight line every single time. What this is also good for is for people that are just kind of starting out with wings. It is very, very easy to sketch a wing out with this. Um, this product is also about seven dollars. Uh, okay, the next product is the NYX Matte Finish Finishing Spray. Um, this stuff is about 10 bucks depending on what drugstore that you pick it up at. I think CVS is a little more expensive, but um, NYX never disappoints. I kind of like my makeup to have a more matte look, and um, when I do just go completely matte, this is what I use. I love this. It holds my makeup on all day. Um, NYX really came through with this product. Okay, so the next product is the Rimmel London Match Perfection Loose Face Powder in 001 Transparent. Um, I haven't been using this for a super long time, but it has quickly became one of my most absolute favorite drugstore products. Um, it sets my concealer so well. It looks so beautiful every single time. And, um, yeah, it's about $5. So, way to go, Rimmel London. This is a great product. My very last, um, product in this list is probably the most expensive one, but is also my most favorite it is the NYX um, Contour Palette. As you can tell, mine is pretty used up. Um, I've actually been through a couple of these, and um, I still love it just as much. They do call this a highlight and contour palette. There are highlight shades here, um, but I have used more of the contour shades than the highlight shades. This is about 20 three to twenty four dollars all of this stuff also kind of depends on what drugstore you're picking it up from but um this contour palette is one of my absolute favorites all right guys so that is it for today if you are not subscribed to my channel please click that subscribe button if you loved this video please give it a thumbs up and um let me know in the comments what you would like to see next and I would love to do that for you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Follow me on Snapchat.